3.2, trends in ionic radii. Well, this is part of the periodic table, copyright IB, and notice that, at least in group one, the positive ions seem to be smaller than their parent atoms. That trend also seems to follow in group two. Again, the positive ions, which are atoms that have lost electrons, are smaller than their parent atoms. And that's actually true for all positive ions. Germanium can have a positive or a negative ion, and it seems that the negative ion is actually bigger than the parent atom. Looking down the halogens, that pattern also seems to hold true. Negative ions seem bigger than the parent atoms, gained an electron. And there seems to be no data for the noble gases. Oh well. All right, so let's look in a bit more detail. Lithium has an electronic arrangement of 2, 1, oh, okay, 1s2, 2s1. And if that loses its one electron, it's in group one. It wants to lose one electron. You can see it loses a main energy level, and it's going to be smaller. Same for sodium. If that loses its outer main energy level, it's going to be smaller. And so that explains why positive ions are smaller than their parent atoms. Because invariably, they've lost the outer main energy level, so they're smaller. So in IB speak, positive ions tend to have a smaller radii than their parent atoms, since the ions are made by the loss of the outer main energy level. Almost all the time. But that's good enough for IB. Let's look at the negative ions. If I add an electron to fluorine to make the fluoride ion, That gets bigger, and that's the case for all of these ions. Adding an electron puffs out, and you can use those words, the energy level, because there are more electrons now, more repulsion. In ID speak, negative ions are larger than their parent atoms, since the extra electrons can cause repulsion in the energy level. And maybe you want to use the word electrostatic there. That's essentially a a negative repelling a negative, or a positive a positive. This is their classic question. Explain the relative radii. Well, let's start off with the carbon atom. So why is the carbon ion smaller? Well, it's lost those four electrons and it's lost a main energy level, or shell. And why is the carbide Ide means a negative ion, so the carbide ion. Why is that bigger? Ah, well, there's more electrons now, so there's more repulsion. So it puffs up compared to the atom. As we go across those three, what's the same about those three? Well, they all have the same electronic configuration as neon. They all have 10 electrons in total. So how comes they're different sizes. Well, you have to look at the number of protons. The more protons there are attracting those 10 electrons, the smaller the ion's going to be. So fluoride's the smallest. And the same pattern follows over on the metal side. The lithium and beryllium ions both have two electrons, but beryllium's smaller because it has more protons attracting in those two electrons. And we are done.